Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Anyone see him? Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? 
But she better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. Here, eat this back. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Shit. 
Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. I mean, you really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north, like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh... Awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. No! Put it down! Don't shoot!
Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Fuck, what's that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. It wasn't Nick's fault. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? I don't know. It happened so fast. But you were right there. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them.
The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. Man, I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. You understand, right? The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. <laughs> Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Ah! Whoa, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You look like an idiot. Just climb the thing. Made it! 
You see anything? I can see the bridge. It's really dark. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke! Luke! Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Sure you don't mind. It's gonna storm soon. Please come in. Jenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. Good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. 
You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-